Hello soup user. So today for another viewer request, we are looking at how to type in figured base in finale. Now the way you might first think about going about this is actually as an expression using the expression tool, but there's actually a quicker and more built-in functionality if we use the lyrics tool. So let's take a look at that. First, you want to select your lyrics tool and come up here to lyrics, auto number, and make sure these are all checked off. Basically right now we're just getting rid of all the default uh, lyrics options to make the lyrics look nice that we don't want for figured base. So make sure that auto number is turned off. Go back up to lyrics and we want to go to lyrics options. This can also be found in the document options and you can open up that normally. Next uncheck smart hyphens, go to word extensions and uncheck smart word extensions. The hyphens are for the hyphens in between words and word extensions are like the underscores and things like that. Again, things that make the lyrics look nice, but we don't want them in figured base. Hit apply just to save them. Then come up here to fonts. And this is where we're gonna change our font to be a figured base friendly font. So make sure lyrics versus set, set font. And we wanna come down to finale numerics. Hit okay, hit apply and okay. And then we should be set to start typing. So just double check that we're typing. Make sure you type in the score selected. And then you can type into the score. Now, the way this is going to work is you can just type a number like the number five, and it will appear like in figure base notation. Alternatively, if you wanted a five three chord, you could type the number three, but then we need a note on top of that. So instead of just hitting five, we want to hit shift five, and shift five will type the character above. Okay, so that's going to be our notation for this one. Then if we want to move to the next note, hit space. And so let's put a seven on top, and I'm just making up a random uh, figured base. I don't think this will actually spell a normal chord, but seven on top, uh, a four in the middle, and let's do a sharp at the bottom. So we're going to type in option X. Option plus like a number or character is going to give you something below. Shift is always going to give you something above, and just the straight character will give you just the middle of the line thing. So you can think of it as living on three different levels. Now the question is, how do I actually know all these symbols? Well, let's look back at the documentation. Now, there's an entire guide on the uh, finale documentation that is all about figured base, and it walks you through step by step exactly what I just showed you on how to use figured base. And down here, there is all the available things you can type in with the figured base, including dashes, plus signs, double flats. There's double sharps somewhere, there's double sharps, you know, normal flats, sharps, naturals, and all the characters one through nine. Additionally, there's different things like if we wanted to put, I don't know, like a natural afterwards. Here's what we're going to do. All we have to hit, do is hit the grave button and then whatever we want to do. So for instance, let's come over here and hit three. Now three is normally a minor three in the key of C major, especially because this would be like E and then G. But let's say we want a uh, sharp three. So we hit the grave, which tells it to go after, and we hit X again with X is for sharp and we get a sharp three. So this would now be E and G sharp. So that's the basics of how to get started using figure base and finale. Now there are definitely more details you can look at, like if you wanted uh, lyrics in the same document as the figure base, there's other ways you can work things. And that's all explained here. Maybe I'll explore that in a future video, but for now, I think you have enough information to go out and explore how to use figure base for your own specific situation. And that's pretty much the basics for using figured base and finale. Now, if you're a Windows user, you can just go to the uh, Windows documentation instead, and it'll give you all the alt codes and the ways that you insert all these non-standard symbols uh, on a Windows computer. So that'll be it for today. That's how to get started with figured base and finale. If you found this video at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That way I know you want more content just like this. Each week I post new videos about how to use finale to its fullest, so if you don't want to miss any of those videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below.